y'all are tripping i just got my car do not play with me because they were right next to me y'all Hey y'all, I'm currently on my way to Pilates. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I am very exhausted. I fell asleep kinda late last night and I woke up early. Right now it's 8.20, which is like not bad at all. But I think for me it's mostly the fact that I only got like five, six hours of sleep. So not fun, it is what it is. My eye is actually a little twitchy. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, after I finish with this workout, I know I'm gonna be happy that I did it, so I'm just gonna push through it. But for today, I just wanna do a day in my life. I have some packages I wanna open later. I got some new clothes. What else did I get? Um, Amazon things, clothes. I'll probably do a try on. Gonna do a clothing haul. I also wanna hit up maybe Home Goods, a good old TJ Maxx run. I haven't been to TJ Maxx in a while. So I think I wanna go to either one of those maybe hit up a marshall's just do like a quick brow see what i can find i want to look through clothes home stuff i just bought these mush overnight oats from target don't mind the way i opened this it was so hard to open but they're pretty good uh has six grams of protein to 30 calories i'm not really counting any of that stuff or paying attention to it they're just really easy to grab in the morning which is why i bought them uh this particular flavor is probably my favorite so far i've tried the vanilla bean and another one but this one right here is hands down my favorite, favorite flavor. I think I tried the peanut butter one, but this one's really good. They have them at Target. I think Whole Foods has them as well, if I'm not mistaken. That class. <sighs> Do y'all see how I look right now? I feel how I look. Off. I have to figure out this whole camera situation because I cannot be driving with my camera just uh, sliding around. I've been trying to avoid sticking anything onto my dashboard, but they have yet to create a camera mount for a car that makes sense with a camera that I have. Get me home. <laughs> I'm being so dramatic. It's just because I woke up on the wrong side of the bed and I had a little attitude this morning and I'm sure once I get, now that I've gotten this workout in, once I get home, take me a nice little shower, feel nice and clean, do my hair, do a little makeup, I'm gonna feel fine. I just, you know, sometimes you just have some of those mornings where you're not feeling yourself and any little dumb thing is annoying. And that's me right now, okay? I'm not even gonna lie.
oh, I feel a million times better just by doing that, getting myself ready. I want to show you my outfit. I am going to try to go out and get some photos since I'm already going to be out and about. I have a meeting right now, matter of fact, at 12. I'm going to hop on that and then we're going to head out. But my outfit. So this top is from, I got it at Target. It's a bodysuit. And uh, it doesn't have a clips at the bottom, but still, you just pretty much slip it on. And I really like it. I have it in gray. I showed this, I want to say in a vlog, like a really, really long time ago. Super comfortable though. Pants are... Zara don't mind my laundry in the back real life yeah my pants are Zara then I have these sandals that I got I think I ordered these on like Bloomingdale's or something like I don't remember but I'll link them below they're just very simple nude brown sandals that almost don't look like I have anything on I took these to Hawaii and I wore them with pretty much everything and then my bag this bag is Amazon <laughs> Not the freaking nipple covers in the background, girl. This is my life right now, okay? <laughs> anyway, bag is Amazon. We'll link it in my storefront as well as below, but super cute. I need to put my stuff in here, but I love that the handles match my sandals, and it's just black and white. Very clean, and I feel like a badass because I'm wearing all black, and it really just makes me feel put together with my hair done, my makeup. I feel really good, way better than I felt this morning. I'm telling you, a good makeup day and an outfit, hair sleek back in a bun, will make you feel like you can conquer the world, and that's how I feel right now. Very dramatic, but true. All right, let's go fill this up. Actually, first, I need to put on my fragrance. I don't know what I want to wear today. Let me set y'all down real quick. Let me at least pick some things up. <laughs> pick some stuff up, like act like you have some sense. Kind of feel like being a little basic today and going with my Baccarat. Now I'm feeling really pretty, so we're gonna do gentle fluidity instead. This just smells really light and fresh. And I always get compliments when I wear this, so. That's what we're doing today. And that is my fragrance. Let me fill up my bag, or actually no, first I'm gonna hop on this meeting because I have, oh no, we have time. I still have about, nine eight or nine minutes to hop on this call what do i want to carry i want some sunglasses that's what i want of course camera tripod on the go i need to keep this in my car i took it out for some reason my camera case wallet uh, sunglasses i got these glasses whoa y'all are very crooked right now i just noticed i got these sunglasses from a little stand at the grove i think they're like not really a brand yeah no they don't really have a brand but these are cute i think i'm gonna go with these i feel so yes <laughs> all right so we're gonna do these i need to make sure i have all my little essentials lip gloss is making a mess this bag is the reason why i want to go back to tj maxx this is my everyday bag i love this bag because it goes with every outfit i could even wear this with what i'm wearing right now but uh, i got it at tj maxx it does not have a brand i have gotten asked about what brand it is and it honestly doesn't say just says genuine leather borse in pell no tag nothing i have no clue but i love this freaking bag i just got a new bag as well but the quality crazy enough from the amazon the amazon the tj maxx one is a lot better and i like the short handle on this because when i'm walking this drags and this one does not and the material of this one just it doesn't feel as leathery and good quality as this this one kind of feels like flimsy not structured uh i don't know i i like the bag so i might keep it just because i like a pop of color every once in a while i just wish it was made better see how the strap just like yeah but um this is why i want to go back to cj maxx because i want to see if they have other really cute bags because i want to switch out my bags every once in a while that's everything that is in here. It's perfect. 
perfectly. You can also carry it as a crossbody. Yeah, crossbody or just as a shoulder bag. But I think I'm just gonna stick it to using it like so. Like this, like a tote. All right, let me hop on this call. Oh, I also gotta return some stuff. Maybe we'll do that as well. I have to return. I got a new air fryer, but I just bought a different one off of Target that kind of had like better reviews. So yeah. And then this is stuff I have to return from Amazon. So I might do some of this stuff today or just carry it out to my car. So I have it in there and I can do it whenever I can. Hi, 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 how are you? Love your earrings. Thank you, they're Target. <laughs> Overview of what the guide responsibilities are, how tips on how you can be a great host, on trip expectations, we'll do an itinerary walkthrough and then we'll have some time for questions. A guide will be paired with you and your travelers for the duration of the trip. They'll provide you with recommendations on where to eat, especially for those non-included meals. And if you guys are like looking for nightlife activity, they can give you recommendations as well. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Um, and then they will help you navigate the country and then also get to each activity safely. Since there's a time difference between, you know, Dominican Republic and the U.S., it's best to go to your guide first and then they will go to their operator, but they will also keep us in the loop. Perfect. Thank you so much. You too. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh my goodness. It is freaking crunch time. We're about to go on this trip. Um, I'm so just, I had to take my battery. I'm so excited. So excited. It all started off as like, oh my gosh, this trip is like so far. And now I'm about to be going to Punta Cana with a few of my girls. If you don't even know what I'm talking about, at this point it's already, I think it's too late to go on the trip, but I had mentioned the trip a few times in my vlogs. Um, it's basically a trip that we put together and a, it's a group of, I think like, 14 or 15 of us going on this trip and I'm just so freaking thrilled I can't believe it's like right around the corner so that's what that meeting was for just kind of getting like all the last minute things together going through our itinerary itinerary one last time and she just kind of gave me like the whole the whole spiel basically right before the trip the trip is in gosh it's in four like four weeks I can't believe it. Um, all right, now that that's done, we can head out. My eye is still twitching. And I looked it up and it does say that eye twitches can happen with fatigue or lack of sleep, too much screen time. I need to get it together. So tonight I'm gonna go to bed early. We're gonna go run these errands and come back to a haul probably cook dinner and then i'm gonna call it a night early because this is like eye twitching come on <laughs> come on <laughs> in my back seat. I think I might be able to put you guys on a tripod. Maybe. Let's hope this works. Because if not... I don't know what I'm gonna do. 
No, this is not gonna work. But I think this might be a good solution. I just, it's gonna block part of my screen. The main thing is I don't want it to block my screen when I'm backing up, because we're, no. That, at that point, we're doing a lot. You are gonna be sick of me in this camera mount thing. But I just need you guys to know, because when you see these vlogs, the angles, the car, the car chats, this is the trial and error portion of it where you're trying to just figure out how to set things up. Um, it's not gonna work in this spot. This spot looks perfect, but it's blocking when I have my GPS on. So not smart. I mean, I can look at on the map like where to turn. I just, it, no, it's not gonna work. For now, it'll do. You know, I can make do with it right now. But um, on my way, so I'm going to the TJ Maxx in Burbank, which I'm really excited about. I think I've ever been to the one there. And I think I think they're gonna have some good stuff. So uh, first things first, though, I need to get me something to eat because listen, I haven't ate today. I let me lying. I had oatmeal. That's not really a meal though. Like we're trying to keep up. So we're gonna see what there is out here. I'm kind of craving like a burger. I tonight want to make or I, no, we're not gonna have that tonight. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Tonight I want to make either tacos, black people tacos, <laughs> like we call them, or spaghetti. The two notorious notorious uh black and mexican or latino household uh essential meals we're gonna have one of one of those tonight that's just kind of the vibe i'm on thank you we might have to make a store stop to get some ground beef i forgot about that part oh so you're just gonna let me go and then cut me off cool cool this car literally, I was at the intersection and he was like, go ahead. I'm like, okay, cool, thank you. He let me go, I went, and then he came around, cut me off, and just kept going. Speaking of, y'all, the other day, I was coming back home from running errands, I believe, and Tell me why I saw one of the scariest road rage interactions. We were on the street and mind you, like in LA, the streets, it's like bumper to bumper, especially during rush hour. People are frustrated, just got off of work, trying to just get, get around right. I totally get it. Because there are times where I'm driving, I'm like, y'all, drive faster, like pick it up, come on, let's go. But I'm not honking, I'm not yelling, I'm not into that. So I'm driving and on my right hand side, it's a two lane street, it's like bumper to bumper, we're at a light, just waiting for this light to keep turning green, like it would let two cars go and then it would turn red again. Anyway, we're at this light and this guy in a Prius is driving super slow and not slow as in like just a slow driver he was purposely driving slow there was nobody in front of the car nobody in front and I know that he was driving purposely slow because before um, this person honked he was driving completely normally so he was driving norm normal right at first everybody's speed of traffic was going good and out of nowhere he starts slowing down um, purposely and so the car behind like honks, like, hey, go. Like there's nobody, in, literally nobody was in front. There was no reason for them to be going slow. And they're just going slow. And when they honk, they started going even slower. And the, pers the person in the back honked again, like, and mind you, okay, be patient. Like you don't have to honk and like all that, of course. But when he honked again, the guy in the Prius completely parked his car there was nobody in front mind you there's traffic right he parks the car get opens the door and is like what like da 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 and so the guy in the back gets off of his car he gets out starts 
cursing him out yelling at him and then the guy is standing his door is open and he's standing by his door the guy in the back car pushes him into his car and they just start going off and this guy that's in the back you can tell like maybe he was having a bad day i don't know what but he just looked angry like you can tell something was up so after he pushes him he gets back in the car it both no the guy in the back gets back in his car and starts driving and then the guy in the prius gets in his car and starts driving super slow again and he's breaking going breaking going putting his reverse lights like basically teasing this man in the back and i'm like what is going on and situations like that are very tough because you just never know what can happen and so after that the guy got out of his car again the guy in the back got out and started running towards the prius and when the guy in the prius saw him running towards him he started driving fast and then the guy stopped running ran back to his car was gonna drive to the prius and then the prius saw him coming in his car and put his reverse and started going back i'm like y'all are tripping i just got my car do not play with me because they were right next to me y'all if that car would have backed into me So I was sitting there and the cars in the back were like honking at them like go go and like I was just sitting there like please don't hit my car please don't hit my car please don't hit my car and I don't know at what point they were just kind of like still going at it I just went around made a right and just left I wasn't even supposed to make a right but I was just trying to get out of that situation because I'm like y'all are not about y'all are not about to involve me in this ish please no I don't know I don't know be careful because I get it sometimes you're out and about and you're frustrated you just got off of work you're tired people are driving crazy don't know how to drive whatever but a little honk can cause a situation like that and sometimes people's lives are taken because of road rage and it's like really really but yeah I've never seen you like I've seen obviously people honk at each other like flip each other off or whatever but I've never actually seen a road rage situation in person and that was like couldn't be me cause <laughs> no 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 but yeah anyway what do I want to eat hello good how are you good I'm gonna do a double double, yeah, a double double protein style, onions. like grilled onion, okay. no tomato, okay. and I'm just gonna do an order of fries, so no drink. Yeah. That's it. To go? Yes. It's Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> you look irritated as hell. Like, girl, hurry up. What you want? What you need? I forgot to add, I wanted to add chopped chilies in there. And because I was so focused on his, the way he looked, looked like how I was feeling this morning. He just looks fed up. I was too busy like focused on his energy <laughs> that I forgot to add the chopped chilies. Maybe I could ask for it. I don't want to be that person. Should I? I just feel like the chopped chili. No, I won't be that person. I'm gonna get the chilies on the side. I'm gonna spare them the minor inconvenience. <laughs> Why is my eye twitching? Uh, goodness. Hi, good. Uh, yes, and chilies, please. Just two. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. You too. Perfect. We got the goods. I really could have gotten off and ate there, but why would I do that? Okay, I know where I'm at. I know exactly where I'm at. There's a West Elm. 
There's a Marshalls, a Target, TJ Maxx, West Elm, Sephora, Ulta. Nordstrom Rack. I know exactly where I'm at. I know exactly where I'm at. Mm. The car in front of me. Oh. Is this lady maybe? Mm-mm. Mm. The car in front of me. You guys can hear the honk. They have the silver window covers on their car. But the car keeps beeping. I'm like, I wonder if somebody's in there. What y'all doing in that car that the horn's going out? <laughs> scored on another bag this is the brand this is so cute yeah I think I'm gonna take it this one $24 need a bag for this one. Mission complete. The car's full. I found a lot of stuff at TJ Maxx. I don't know if I'm keeping all of it. I'm gonna see when I get home. I got a new comforter, which the only reason why I'm kind of iffy about it is because my washer is very small and I can't put a big puffy full-size comforter, which is why right now what I have on my bed, I have a duvet cover and then on the inside of the duvet cover, I have two comforters to make it fluffy. But then when I need to wash it, all I have to do is take off the duvet cover. But that within itself is also annoying because it's really hard to, to take off, off and on. So either way, it's kind of like if I want to wash this comforter, I'm going to have to go get it washed. So yeah, backs loaded up with a bunch of stuff. Marshall's is right next door. Do I want to go or do I not? Should we just see what there's in there? I guess I'll go in there right now. I just needed to load up the car because the carts, you can't take them out. And... I kind of want to snack. I always have candies and granola bars. I have these Trader Joe's ones in here. Which right now, it's like 90 degrees outside. And they're a little bit melted, but not anything crazy. Um, I just like to have one. And there just in case. If you know, you know, high chews are so addicting. And I picked up the 
super fruit mix that has dragon fruit ones acai ones and kiwi ones Ooh, these are melted mm. Mm -mm. it's not gonna work I'm not gonna work darling and everybody's out and about the parking lot is packed inside the store is packed i wanted to set up my camera and like do some shots in the aisles and stuff but there's people walking like every aisle there's like a bunch of people in each house i'm like what is going on i feel like people are going in and buying fall stuff already because it's like august 1st or whatever or well, today's august 2nd but it's already august and so i think people are just like overly excited there's already halloween stuff fall stuff and people are just like buying it all up so i think that's why it's popping this is ridiculous like the craziest part is I still have like three bags in the car I'm gonna start putting some stuff away so we're gonna haul it up let me set you down somewhere first things first I made a stop at Whole Foods you already know our weekly pickup do I have another I don't think I have enough of these in the car. I just got, it was rush hour, so it was really busy. Red pepper, no, three pepper blend, frozen. I got a lot of frozen stuff uh, just for smoothies and just to have mango chunks. I have fresh fruit and meats and stuff already from the other day that I went. Peaches, all this stuff is for my smoothie. Chopped kale. I've never tried these Simple Mills organic garlic and herb crackers, so I'm gonna try these out, see if I like them. I got some new peanut butter. Why is it? Organic peanut butter. Cheese for tonight. Spaghetti, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do spaghetti. Just some shaved parmesan, diced onions because who likes to cut onions? And then I got this mush. So I wanted to try the strawberry one. I tried the like maple cinnamon one or whatever. That one was good. I haven't tried strawberry, so I've got one of those. And this one too. This is ready to ready to eat oats. This is vanilla cinnamon. I think I've tried this brand maybe like once. There you go. It's focusing on my face there you go um so i'm gonna try it out see if i like it i like stuff like this when i'm on my way to my workout and i want to get something in so my stomach's not empty on my workouts and these vans power grains protein blueberry waffles so i can pop one of these in the toaster maybe two do some eggs bacon have a little protein uh, waffle some sweet potato fries i like this brand so i'm sure i like those these i thought were cute and funny but also like yeah this makes sense they're called chubby snacks so each little sandwich has two only two grams of sugar and nine grams of protein and it is almond butter and strawberry jam on whole wheat bread so these are like the what is it called uncrustables but they're, I guess, like the Whole Foods version with less protein, clean ingredients, X, Y, Z, and the third. So, yeah. I'm going to try these out. Also, you put these in the toaster, yeah, for three minutes. Or you can let it out to thaw for 20 minutes and then eat it. So, and they're shaped like a cloud. I think these are for kids, but, <laughs> oh no. Kids and kids at heart, athletes, snackers, and PB&J fans. Ground beef for the spaghetti. And then frozen strawberries for smoothies. And a smoothie. This is the Whole Foods Organic Juice in Lava. It has orange and strawberry. Maybe to drink this in the morning when I'm eating breakfast. So it's obviously from Whole Foods. Let me put all this stuff in the freezer. Cool. That's all the grocery stuff. 
I got a travel credit card. I know. Because, girl, you might as well get some points so I can finally put some of this stuff on my card and get points for it and get free flights and stuff like that. So, if you're uh, curious, I went for the Chase Sapphire Preferred. Um, that's one of the popular ones. And then also, what's the other popular one? The Amex. I'm so freaking excited because I already have a regular credit card that I use for like other stuff. Um, but I've always kept my credit cards. I've never like raised the spending amount on it. I've always kept it really low. Um, so I finally have like a larger amount credit card, which is kind of like nice to have, but in general, um, mostly gonna use that for, for getting points so I could travel a little bit more, hopefully. So, um, and I wanted to do it specifically before Punta Cana because I'm gonna do my flight on that card and then just like all the expenses, everything like that, and I can rack up. Cause uh, with that card, you spend $4,000 within I think the first three months you get I don't know how many thousand points which adds up to a good amount of money so a smart way that, I'm, that I think I'm gonna use it is and I think I saw this on TikTok is to use your card to I think you can do this I'm not I have to double check but uh, use my card to pay my rent and then pay pay off my card and then I'm like hella boosting my credit more and then on top of that just paying what I normally like literally you're getting points and you're bettering your credit with things that you would already do like pay your rent pay your um, I think you can even do like groceries your car note or whatever you want on there and then just pay it off before the um, payment and due date and if you paid in full you get points and then yeah so i'm excited love that that's the last of it i'm doing it for the content i gotta give y'all something to see right right okay this is what it's looking like that's everything i got we're gonna go through it right now. Now, we'll talk about it, we'll talk about it. And then this stuff right here. We will start with the Marshall stuff first because I need to cook. I found this pot, which I have some of these pots and pans as it is. I just like them because they're nice and white, pretty. I get asked about these every single time and they are from Home Goods, Marshalls, or TJ Maxx. They carry them at pretty much all of those places. I got this Body Botanicals hand soap. It's lemon verbena. It smells good, it smells clean. I got this uh, to put it in the kitchen. It's Yeah, it smells refreshing. It says right here it's refreshing. It has lemon oil and almond oil. It's really pretty, but also I need a new hand soap for the kitchen. And this one was $4.99. Oh, I just got a uh, men's t-shirt to wear as pajamas. This is a Nirvana. Big baggy. I got an extra large because I love wearing baggy t-shirts. Sometimes I love a cute pajama matching moment, but sometimes it's like, girl, you're doing a lot. Like, relax. I also got these phone cases because I'm thinking of getting the magnet phone holder for my phone when I'm in the car. And these have the magnetic little thing, but I like these because you cannot see the magnet. You know how, I think I talked about this in the last vlog, uh, some people have the magnet on the back of their phone and you can see the magnet circle on the back. I don't like that, uh, especially because sometimes when I'm taking pictures, you can see it, the circle. So these phone cases, they have the magnet but you cannot see the circle and I'm surprised I was able to find a white one so you can see the phone case looks like a regular old phone case right but there you go when you turn it around it has the magnet on the inside key 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 8.99 this one was also 
this one I thought was nice. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but this one I thought was nice for the fall. We're still in summer, okay? LA just, just like we just started with summer. And it's probably gonna be hot up until like, no lie, October. Like Halloween, I have a feeling it's gonna be hot. So it's not gonna be fall weather here anytime soon, I don't think, but we can look the part, right? So that's what this phone case, why am I struggling to open this? That's what this phone case is for, just for the vibe. Case itself has these really pretty gold leaves and the phone case is brown. And then the magnets on the inside. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I love this phone case. So um, these I found right by the registers, you know, like where they try to trap you to buy more things. That's where you can find these. This is such a pretty planner. If you are looking for a really nice planner, go to CJ Maxx. Look at this. The size, okay, the size. It's like a big notebook. The color, the color, the color, the color is so freaking pretty. It's brown, neutral. I love me a big chunky planner. I just love it. So you open it up. It says do something today that your future self will thank you for. And you can slip in like receipts or paperwork, whatever you want right there. And it's a 2024 planner, so I'm not gonna be able to touch this until I'm lying. It starts It starts in August, all the way up until December, 2024. Yes. Okay, this is gonna be my planner for the next like year and a half, literally. So I love it. You just open it up, has a tab for notes, so you can write notes down. And then let me give you a close-up of what the months look like, I guess, so you can see. That's what it looks like. And there you go. That's what it looks like. Just, I'm obsessed with this planner. I feel like I hit the jackpot. And they had a lot of them, $9.99. I don't even think the Target planners are this inexpensive. I don't need anything else for the next, literally, year and a half so go get you one of these like today i got a new shower curtain which i don't know if i'm gonna love it i don't know if it's like childish or not i can't decide got some more hand towels these are from ugg these were 14.99 they're just like a deep gray deep gray kind of brownish in person they look not yeah they're like a deep gray i would say I scored on some jewelry too. I found some good stuff. I'm so glad that I went because I haven't been in a while and I just feel like I found some, some pretty good stuff. So, hold on. Let me put the top stuff. I found these bracelets. And I will probably do an updated arm candy post on my stories because I've been getting questions about some, some of the stuff I have on. Um, which is kind of the same except for one. But I found these. Oh my God, beaded bracelets. And it has three different sizes, a tiny one, a medium, and a thicker one. So it's a set of three. I'm probably gonna only wear like one or two of these. I have tiny wrists and they fit me perfectly. Yeah, I think the three is too much. I'll probably take the chunkiest one out or maybe only wear the chunky one. You know, I love me a good hoop. So these are gold plated, $24.99. They had some that weren't gold plated that were even less expensive. And I got these because I want to layer. I have three piercings on each ear. So I kind of want to layer and go for that look because I've seen that look kind of like trending. And these I just thought were nice, uh, maybe for vacation or just to wear. What's the look like today? Just sleek back bun. These ones were $12.99. I also got a candle from who was talking about these who was talking about these candles i was watching somebody's vlog and they were talking about this candle sand and paws because it helps to neutralize pet odor it's coconut and palm i mostly picked it up because of the color it's like a taupey brown Next up, this bowl. I got this to put fruit and stuff, 
but it's kind of big i'm not even gonna lie so i don't know what i want to use this for or if i want to just return it but the bowl just looks so pretty so i'm kind of stuck on what i want to do with this but i like how this looks it gives very much restoration hardware west elm vibes um and i'm kind of liking it so where can i put this like i could put it here i just don't like to have a lot of stuff on my counters 19.99 19.99 and they had a bunch of them as well and it is fruit food safe so you can put fruits and stuff that's the plan i want to put like bananas lemons oranges and just like fill it up with a lot of fruit and have it sitting out i just love the size i showed you when i was shopping for this bag do i keep this or do i not because i already have the one i showed you at the beginning of the vlog which is this one here are these too similar to the point where it's like you don't need this so what do you guys think They're pretty similar. This might be a return as well. I tried these heels, which I love because I have some nude pumps right now, but they're so uncomfortable. I think they're like from Steve Madden or something. Um, Steve Madden can be hit or miss as far as comfort. And I never wear those nude heels, but I always find myself needing to wear them, but I can't because they're just not comfortable. So I found these and these are so so freaking comfortable the heel on these is a little shorter than the ones that i have everything i don't know why they have two different stickers but they're both an eight and a half and yeah and then i got some bras just comfy bras calvin klein uh, i'm glad they had my size because these are so cute and simple i surprisingly don't own any calvin klein bras but i decided to get a black one and it has like the thin strap on the back these bras with like some sweatpants during the colder, cozier summer nights would be bomb. $12.99. And I also got it in this kind of like marled gray. Also $12.99. And I got them in a size small. They have padding. You can remove the padding if you want. Love. I did do a few bedding items. One of these is for sure going back one or two is for sure going back so first i got this quilt this feels hot just touching it but i mostly got this to put underneath as a you know how when you get a, a sheet set it comes with the fitted sheet a flat sheet and then the pillowcases i don't use flat sheets because they just never stay i don't like how they look they're just thin and flimsy and i just don't find the point in having flat sheets to be honest but i do like the i don't want my fitted sheet to show or my mattress to show i like to have some let me kind of show you what i'm talking about because it probably doesn't make sense i need to put this laundry away okay right here so you see how i have this quilt it adds a little texture and it hides my mattress and then the box under because i have it tucked in to the headboard by the way i'll link this headboard because i keep getting asked about it and i keep forgetting to link it i realize i don't think i've linked this on my stories um i don't know if i've linked it on youtube either but oh and then these pillows are target these are really nice but with the new bedding i don't know if these are gonna go um and i already ripped the tags off of course so um, but I could put these in the living room. Anyway, what I was saying, yeah, I like that this covers. So, and this is thin, which works. Um, but I'm just looking for something a little, uh, I guess, thicker that works as almost like a mattress topper feel. But that's going to be tucked in. Yeah, so that's what I got this for. And up close, I know it's really bright. It's going to focus right now. There you go. So you can see it has some texture to it and it's like nice and fluffy so i'm gonna see if this works if not i bought a backup which is this one now this is more of a comforter style but it, it's labeled a quilt but it feels more comforter i also got this which i don't know if this is a keep or not but this is a whole new comforter set uh this will go on top as like a 
blanket essentially to sleep with i just i loved the color i have so much stuff on this counter oops get it together all right so up close you can kind of see the texture the color it's not a stark white comforter like i have now um which i'm kind of used to so we'll see how i end up liking this but i just i like the waffle look to it the texture the tones everything is really uh really nice so we'll see if i like this if not it's going straight back to the store but we'll save the clothes for after <laughs> all right <laughs> we're actually going out tonight with our friends for his birthday for dinner so i kind of want to plan an outfit for that these right here are good. Um, like the quality I have on there is like perfect, which is basically um, a beautiful format checkout. And I'll have all that information found on there. The baby things and just like summer things for that are rolling down. Okay. I'm going to wear the empty house tour basically. <gasps> <laughs> have you ever have you ever gone to a public restroom and been like what if there's cameras in here after you've done something foul? <laughs> is that could have happened yeah. but i don't know it was just maneuver and yeah have and make it positive it yeah and make it positive i just finished up with dinner so good right now bathroom this is what I got going on. Just a plain white curtain, which I mean is not, it's not bad. It's just, it's just a little plain. Um, and then compared to the TJ Maxx one, is this, is this cute? It might be cute, right? Do you guys see what I mean by childish it just kind of is giving more like a kid's bathroom maybe or no oh and it's actually longer than the one i have i think it kind of ties with the pompous because of the pattern on it but then it's like black so it ties in with the towel rack it adds to the bathroom what wallpaper would add um just a little little something different these uh hand towels that i got i realized do not go with my bathroom i mean it's a neutral tone but it, it doesn't go with any of the tones that i have in here so i'm going to return these save myself a little 15 dollars. but yeah i was going to put them like right here but it looks better with the black ones because this just it's not tying in with a thing in here i don't know I really do like the switch up. I do like that it's thinner though because I don't know if they make sense. I need a better pillow for this, but maybe like this. So here's what I have in mind for under. If I end up keeping this, I slipped out the pillowcase just to lay it on top of this one and see if it looks better with this and then i also have this one which i can't slip out the textures the tones i think this is the one i think this is the one i think this is the one because this just isn't yeah no yeah i think we'll do that one While my bedding and stuff is washing and drying, let's do a fashion Nova and Amazon haul. So from Amazon, I thought I got more stuff. Some stuff hasn't came in though, so I gotta check on that. Matter of fact, I saw Jalisa, Jalisa Jefferson. She posted this on her story and I was like sold. She was wearing this and I was like, oh, I need that. And she was saying like how it's the perfect, comfy, pregnant uh, jumpsuit. Not pregnant, but 
you know, I love me a little comfy. This maybe you can't even see, but maybe like an airport outfit. Let's try this stuff on. First, I'll, I'll just open everything and then I'll try it on. The main thing for me that I was looking for were pants, but I also, they were having like a buy one, get one free sale. So I also picked up just some like other things. I got this tank, which is supposed to look like a body. This one, I don't even know if I'm gonna wear it. I mostly got it because I needed one more item. Um, like it was free essentially. Uh, maybe with some really loose jeans and some heels or sneakers. The quality of this one's not like the best, but you know, it was free. This top is a crochet. I don't know what I was expecting with this one. Cause I saw it on the model and I think she was wearing like nipple covers and it looked cute. But I don't know if this is gonna get on me. I gotta try it on with my nipple covers that have been sitting on my dresser over there. This would be cute uh, if any of you guys are going to the Beyonce concert and you're looking for a top. I will say the quality is very thin on this. I didn't notice till right now that I opened it. But it's just this silver one sleeve bodysuit. I didn't get this for the concert. I already have my concert outfit. But I just thought this was... Um, I don't have any metallic stuff in my closet. So maybe for like date night or something. What is this, honey? Oh, I got a bodysuit because... I don't have a lot of lacy, like sexy pieces. A lot of my stuff is like staple wardrobe, basic, solid tees. But sometimes you want a little lacy number. So this I, I got, you know, again, for like a really nice date night or something to wear with jeans or flowy pants, like how I'm wearing today. I got a few just t-shirts, t-shirt bodysuits, like graphic bodysuits because I don't have any graphic tee bodysuits and um, they were also buy one get one free this one says rock and roll it's just a bodysuit and I love this because I can wear it with jeans this is another one I like the color the colors this one's more of a soft cozy feel this one I like vibing and thriving and it's in pink and it's a a crew neck top but it's actually a bodysuit this is just another sleep shirt but i'll probably also wear it out it's a self-love highly valued nurture and care for oneself cultivate joy respect the growth just a big baggy tee i got pants so this is what i mainly went on there for because one thing i do like about fashion nova are some of their jeans they've been known for like their jeans at a pretty good price and my favorite thing is that their jeans are actually long a lot of them are a lot of the ones i've gotten from there are actually nice and long and fit me because i'm five seven these have an elastic band they don't stretch a whole lot but you get a little bit and then they have the rips i love a good distress moment they even have distress in the back they're distressed on the bottom big wide leg pants and just holding them up against my waist putting them high up they are long and again i will try this on and i don't have black jeans that are flared either so got some black you can't go wrong with black jeans so looks plain from the bottom but they also have distressing just like the ones i just showed you but in black distressed at the knee distressed at the bottom and they're super long and wide leg let's try all this stuff one and then we'll wrap up the night first i'll try the amazon jumpsuit because this just feels cozy i got a size large because i want this to fit me comfy this is comfortable i'll have to probably wear like full coverage underwear like shorts because it's a little is it see-through or am I tripping? It's a little see-through, a little, little bit, but I like it. Um, I will say I'm glad I got it in a large. Can you guys even see the full, the full outfit? There you go. So 
has pockets, it's flowy, it's long enough. Again, I am 5'7 for reference and it hits me right at the ankles. I would size up for the comfy fit. I'm typically a size small and this is a large and it fits me just how I would want this to fit. This is so comfortable. I think I got it in black also and that's the one that hasn't came in but for every day like I would even style it how, how I'm dressed right now with hoops makeup but also wear it to the airport to be more comfortable or something here we go with the pants might need to get these tailored maybe this is the pants and the bodysuit the bodysuit is like eh it's just like kind of weird so I don't know how I feel about the top yeah, I don't really like the top, but the jeans I do need to get them tightened a little bit. Maybe from the sides or from the back. These are all size five, but they fit everywhere else. They fit me long to the point where they're dragging. So I can wear heels and they're gonna fit me just fine. I just need to get them tailored so they can fit me a little bit tighter like around here. But aside from that, the jeans are a win. Uh, these fit, but I should have gone. These are a five. I should have gotten a seven. And it did say that they fit small, no stretch. So, but I usually I'm like in between a three or a five or between a four and a six. But this is tight. These don't fit. Lot. And then here's what the top looks like. Ugh, there you go. Just a very low v-neck bodysuit. Graphic tee bodysuit. There's that one. This top could be cute. It's a little different for me. This top could be cute because it's showing skin. Like I would wear this top with the pants that I'm wearing today. Looks just like that. I don't know if the cut, I'm wearing covers, but I don't know if it's see through. But yeah, I would wear this top just like this. I like this top. I like, at first I was kind of like, ooh, it's kind of risque. I don't know if it's, but this is tasteful. I'm still fully covered, but it's showing skin. So I, I think I, I like this. And then there's this top. Love this one too. This one's not as long as I thought. It fits very comfortably and loose. The fabric is very cozy too. So there's that one. This top, I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about it because of how sheer it looks, but I'm gonna keep this. I like it. I don't mind the sheerness as a matter of fact because you cannot see through and it's comfortable. It doesn't actually feel like a metallic shirt. It feels just like a thin sheer very sheer do keep that in mind but it doesn't look or feel sheer once it's on i can't stand all the way up because i'm not wearing pants but i love this shirt very different i don't have anything like this in my closet and i think it's just like an edgier girl yes i scored on some of these i like this the body looks a little off like lopsided but mm -hmm. this one is a yes this feels what does this feel like all of these tops are they're not thick in quality but they're comfy and soft which i'm into the last top is this one which i didn't think i would love but i love it's like a crop top but i would wear this with high-waisted jeans or something and it has this open again more of that edgier look for like a casual night or something where i just want to not do too much you know and i like the cut just it's a cute different kind of top love everything i picked pretty much minus the jeans that didn't fit and this lacy number aside from that everything else 10 out of 10. oh and this graphic tee i'm not gonna try on because it's just a graphic tee but it does fit me nice and long as you can see and this is in a size large and there's a close-up my last few packages came in and after this i promise it is a wrap so that black remember i showed you the 
black bag, not the black, the beige baggy jumpsuit. Uh, I got the black one as well. Not gonna try it on because you guys know how it looks, but I just am so excited to wear this because it's an all-in-one outfit and I love the way it fits. Then this is from also Amazon. I haven't even opened it or looked at the quality. This is a bag. Uh, I've been kind of looking for a slouchy shoulder bag that is not as big as a tote. I think there's a Chanel bag that looks like this. And y'all, this bag did not have many reviews and I just kind of went for it. And I'm not just dis disappointed so far. So it has the quilted material, right? And then it has the, oh my God. I will say it's kind of hard to pull to make it scrunchy looking. That's the only thing I'm gonna say about that. Like this part is kind of hard. So yeah, I like the quality. I just, I will say it's a struggle to kind of pull this out, but there you go. So it's pretty much like a tote, but smaller, like the size of a sack pack, the ones that, you know, athletes use or whatever that you would throw on your back with the little strings, but instead it has the strings on top and you wear it as a shoulder bag. This is my first time shopping from Tony Bianco. I got two pairs of shoes. One pair of heels, one pair of sandals. These are pair number one. And I was just talking about kitten heels. This one's a little higher than a kitten heel. Uh, just a nude suede pair. Let me raise the brightness so you guys can see a little better. I got these specifically to wear with pretty much any outfit, but also uh, for the fall months. But I'm not even fall. Honestly, these you can wear all year round, just depending on the occasion. But I just felt like these would go with a lot of different outfits. I'm going to order a few more pairs because they're, I have a whole wish list on their website of stuff that I want to purchase at some point. This one looks worn for some reason, but it's not bad. Um, yeah. But these are it. And even the wording on it looks like, I don't know what's going on, <laughs> but they look the same. Anyway, I got these ones to wear with also a bunch of different outfits. I know right now the Chanel strappy, like Chanel dupe, I should say. Chanel dupe with the two straps. And I don't like how they look on my foot. I like how they look on others. I might just go for it and get some who knows but i thought this was a nice alternative to get that look still but a little bit less like bulky looking if that makes sense they're thinner lighter they have thin straps so yeah wanted something a little different but that still would give me that look so yeah those ones there got a new air fryer i used to have one from this brand and when i moved um i think i gave it to I don't know what I did with it, to be honest. So this brought around the way, instantly connected when he caught my eye. Nothing ever was the same, couldn't seem to get his picture out my mind. Then we took it all the way. I could have sworn he was just my type. Then he, he said to me, 